Alrighty. Okay. So edges over the table flicks. And uh, oh yeah. Um, actually, you know, moving moving your feet, right? It's, the thing is, the exercise that you saw there, and also the Falkenberg, it's like high level. Like it's it's it's, it's a big distance. It's like if you go into a real life club, um, most players they don't even get there at a higher level. Like mm -hmm. they just give up right away because it's too tiring. It's too much, right? I just like doing it because it's like it's a good challenge, but it's also always very much on the limit when you play against somebody. It's you don't control the speed, of course. You can't put it slower because the ball is going to come back when it comes back. Um, but I like it because it keeps you in motion. Now, what, you, what, what is a little bit easier is the, the one from the last video where it's just forehand, 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 right? And then maybe after a while, you, you cut out the, the middle when you go back. And then you have that same distance again, but you have a little bit more time to return to it. You don't have to have a backhand in there anymore, which is like a twist of, of your body that is like one less twist. Um, because actually the the body movement, it's it's the small parts that are hard, right? Like the, the big movement, um, you can almost only use that when you know or you can see where that's going, right? So what you need in the game is probably a lot smaller, everything, right? To make sure that you're ready. So, yeah. So doing four belt, uh, for example, um, forehand, middle, forehand, backhand, which is one that is in the beginner drills as well, or forehand, forehand, backhand, forehand, forehand, or forehand, 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 all these things, it's a good way to start. You don't have to worry about the big, big, big dif distances yet. Mm -hmm. All right. But yeah, you have to keep, you have to keep moving, of course. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll put up the ball machine, and then okay. we can take a look at 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 flicking. Now that the table is actually there. Um, okay. You can ignore the the balls that are coming now because I don't know what exercise is actually on. Oop. Okay. Now I have I have so many <laughs> strokes to scroll through with it's becoming very long the drill. Wow. <laughs> All right. So I think it's in um yeah, it's it's actually in the beginner drills as well. So the back end push for and push. All right, let's let's start with the back end. So it's gonna do a short serve, right? And right now you're having trouble lifting that, right? Yeah. So it is a bit harder. Also this you have to think the serve is quite good because it's it's low over the net. So yeah. it doesn't give you a lot of room to play with. But the basic idea of a flick is that you grab the ball and spin it up. So uh, I know last time we looked at this, right? Yep. So you kind of need the same grip to pull it. You can also start flatter, right? And then kind of hit through it. It's a little bit easier. But then in the end, the idea is that you can lift it with spin. But I have to say, this is a very <laughs> hard serve to do it on because it's so low. And then actually using your body should help as well. Mm -hmm. That's it. But in the game, it can be a little bit an issue of tracking as well. Because it's a very short, short motion. So um, let's see. So first I would say you can lift it, right? So you come from under the ball 
Mm -hmm. Basically, you, you're going in like you're doing a push, mm -hmm. and you're grabbing the ball and putting it over. So the easy way is just it's a push, but you make it into a little bit of a of a drive. Wait. Some, sometimes it's very weird. Yeah. And the timing, it can be a little bit like a push because the longer that you let it drop, the harder it's going to be to lift the ball. Mm -hmm. Right? Sometimes something weird happens there. I didn't realize before how often I hit the table <laughs> with the flick. Yeah. I thought yeah. the flick was good, but but now I see it was no like a lot of people do flicks in game in this game, yeah. and it's very impressive, <laughs> or they used to do it, but it's it's one of the hardest things to do because you don't have a lot of space to work with. That's also why it's a flick and not a full spin because if if you would spin, you know, you would use more of yeah. a, of your arm, which is what most people were doing. They were like really gripping it and then going over it. But now it's more real, so you have to. It's all wrist, basically. Wrist or, you know, a little bit more pushed. Um, I'm just going to... Okay. Let's see, like like I said, it's not... It's not. I, wait, you're left-handed too? Yes. I <laughs> so you can do it on the same side. Um, like, like I showed you, it's very... It's not easy, so don't worry if you miss. That's good. Nice. You can see the tracking. Um, it's maybe not the tracking. Maybe it's touching the table. Uh, it's, it's the same for me, I guess. I don't hear it always. All right. So let's start with, let's make it a little bit easier because now you're already doing the full thing. But like in the beginning, you push, right? Okay. And then we try to just kind of lift it, right? Just a little bit, not much. So this is more forward than actually brushing, just kind mm -hmm. of accelerating the ball just a little bit. Because then you have to think if you do the forehand, you don't have that much range uh, with your wrist. So most yeah. of the time it's basically just that. So just like a soft, what do you say? Like you just kind of guide it over, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Get it a little bit earlier, maybe. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Just tell, okay. You can lift it a little bit more. So that's it. That's it. So what you're still doing now is you're still going that kind of forward or up, down, right? Which is a push. So the thing that you're trying to achieve here is down, up, right? You're, you're going a little bit up, right? Mm -hmm. So you can give it a little bit more speed. Okay. And then that later, you know, translates into adding more brush, but it's it's not it's not easy. Just a little bit, a little bit less is fine. That's it. Try to keep your uh, arm and, and wrist relaxed because if it's too tense, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. Just yeah, that's it. That's it. You can try to play diagonally. The table is longer there, so you have a little bit more space. That's it. Good. This it is harder. That's just how it's going to be, right? So yeah. So it's also a very good option. But it works. <laughs> nice, nice. You're you're doing it well. Mm. There you go. That's it's very good. So yeah. if, if you notice at some point that it's always going into the net, or you know, um, you can always open your angle a little bit more, right? If you need to. So, so it's just like in the push, right? If you notice that it's going into the net, you just open your bat a bit more, and it goes up. And mm -hmm. it's the same for this one. If you notice it's going down, just start with a little bit more open bat. Uh, but if you if you want it to go faster, you can keep it more closed and go more more forward. 
but you see the the timing is very important. Yeah. I have a lot of trouble now gripping the ball. There we go. Yeah. So if you if you get it when it's still going up, in principle, you should be able to use. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not the best. Uh, Ooh, not the best surface to train that on. Is it? Well, maybe it is because then you. That's it. Much better than mine. I think my paddle is maybe a little bit too fast to really brush it well. There's a short stroke. Nice. Good. All right. So I think I, I said this before because that's just one option, right? You can also go for like a good tense. Um, backspin ball that can <clears> even <throat> do more damage and um, you can also go for something like this which is maybe a little bit weird but it's easier to do than this one so you, you just kind of it's more like side spin than actually um, yeah. flicking but like maybe they're expecting it there and then you change the direction like with the and it's not hard to do and it allows you to, to put some force in a direction that's not against the spin so it actually is easier to keep the short enough. That's nice. So I mean you can play with everything in between, right? So you can you can go from the other side, just you know kind of push push with this effect to the side, right? And that can kind of turn into a, a flick. You can go for a full flick, um, and then basically you have the like the strawberry, the not the strawberry, the banana, right? The strawberry is this one. That's mm -hmm. a strawberry flick if you go over it, so it's still topspin. Banana is when you go to the side, the other side. Um, you can call them whatever you want, but basically it's just letting side spin help you out, and keeping the ball low. Mm -hmm. So. Because if you want to do like a, a flick, a normal flick, you have to get out all of the backspin, right? Because yep. it's pulling you down, so you have to compensate. So if you want to avoid that, you just go on an angle that has no spin. You know, that's why a lot of them do it because they're like, okay, there's a lot of spin coming in. I'm just gonna hit it on the side, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. okay. Um. All right. Oh, you can you can play with the timing as well. So right now, what you're doing is you're letting it drop, and that's very cool. Um, if like a service coming in and it's harder than you expect, like you, you're not ready, mm -hmm. and then they they think you're gonna catch it early and you're gonna send it there, but then instead of doing that, you just wait a little bit longer, and you go um, the other side. So I, I think Timo Ball has a video on that, like from a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. where he does. Like, let's see, let's see, let's see, because we have side spin servers in here. Uh, let's see. Back spin. No, that's back spin. Left, left spin. From left to right. All right. Probably too fast. No, wait. I want right spin, left to right. No, I have both of them. <laughs> just a sec. All right. So, what he what he says is, so this is just side spin, right? So ideally, mm -hmm. this is back spin. But what he says is, you let it drop, and you go with the spin, and that allows you, like, cause this ball is coming quite fast. If I go against the spin, it's gonna go quite fast, returning as well. But if I wait a bit and I go with the spin, I can do a, basically a drop shot. Right, I can if I control it well, I can make it slow down the pace. So that's something that you can play with as well. So, I mean, the serve is actually a little bit too long. Eh? Like in solid slime slurs, solid slime <laughs> serves. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. quite. Good, they're like they're not. They're like too pure, right? Most nobody mm -hmm. pure side spin. There's always gonna be some backspin. <laughs> so 
top spin, right? And they're probably gonna try to make the second bounce la uh, land just here. Not have it land this long. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can go against the side, side spin like what we were doing just before. And then in this case, this is the hardest thing, right? Because you need to calculate the spin that's coming in. You can go with it, like I said, which is a good idea to keep it short. It's a little bit harder to play it hard, to play it strongly mm -hmm. that way, right? And then you can try to actually go on another angle, right? Because the spin is going on the side, you can try to really get it on another axis, but that's that's a little bit hard in this case. But what is easy is going over it. Well, easy, it's saying much, right? But this is a, it's a good option, like going with the spin to kind of um, stop the momentum. A bit. A lot of sides. A lot of sides. All right. So for now, because that's why I wanted to show it as well, just try to go with the spin, right? which is that way. Towards the TV. Yep. Just let it drop a bit. <sighs> okay, now you're, yeah. Well, that's a top spin. It's also good. So, that's good. So, I mean, it's not exactly the same. Um, what I was showing is a little bit more about, you know, getting touch for it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so it's it's like you're not doing like a, a top spin stroke. You're just going mm -hmm. back to the side. If you know Kokiniwa, for example, he, he sometimes blocks like this. Okay, <laughs> and it's very cool. But you can see like just because the effect is going like this, I go in the same direction. It goes back almost straight. And when I play it soft, I can keep it much shorter than you would expect. But of course, if it's still long, they're gonna attack it. But you can place it then, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just being another example of what you can do. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And that's just, you know, that's just about showing you options, right? So mm -hmm. if they serve to you, uh, let's see, the other way around, right? So the spin is coming from there, and you have to go that way, right? Mm -hmm. You can stop the spin. Or you can go with it. And eat a spin, right? So, mm -hmm. about you know, trying out different things. Now, um, let's take a look at the forehand because it's a little mm -hmm. bit uh, difficult. Well, difficult is a little bit different. Um, the backhand flick, yeah. I've, I mean, there's a lot more that we can work on, but I think what you had now, like, not to try to brush it too much yet. It's a good start. And then when you get a spin for it, you, you'll start noticing that you can brush it just a little bit more. Um, now, let's see, forehand push, okay. So that's the same, but on the forehand, and like I said, you have less range. So here you're always kind of lifting the ball. Mm -hmm. If you want to see somebody with good flicks in the forehand, you can look at Chu Shin, but he plays um, pen hold, right? Yeah. So he can, uh, and, and basically, he goes with his body over the table mm -hmm. and he, he plays quite flat because, how do you say it? Like adding this extra spin is hard because you can't really use your wrist that well. So mm -hmm. easier to just go a little bit through the ball and forward, right? Okay. So the same as in the back end. Nice. So this is this is a very useful stroke. If you train it, you can use it for sure. If you notice in the game that you're not too sure of it, then going back to pushing and doing a good push with a good intent is also a good option, right? Because depending on the quality of your opponent's serve, this might become a little bit too hard to do. You know? But this is good, like you're, you're doing very well. 
<laughs> then again, you can you can push, you can do the side spin stuff from both sides. Mm -hmm. um, nice. You're touching the table, but it's fine. Like very little, mostly on the back swing, I think. Nice. Okay. Basically, uh, that's it. So, I mean, with intent means that you know you get some speed behind the ball, and doing it pushed or doing it flat is 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 basically the same. The thing is, if you can vary, you can make it harder, right? Yep. So. Again, you can go a little bit more to the side <laughs> to be able to add more speed. Mm -hmm. You can also do like a little bit of inside out, you know, to surprise them, maybe even have it bounce twice, or maybe use some side spin to get it at a very difficult angle, mm -hmm. right? Um, so yeah, it's the same as in the back end. There's a lot of stuff you can do. and. You can do again. Let's see at the serves. Um, da -da -dum. Serve, serve, serves. Uh, left spin. Left to right. No, right. Right to left. What is that? Okay, here. Right. Mm, so in yeah. this case, you going with a spin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's maybe a little bit harder because it's easier to, because it's in front of your body to do this than to, you know, mm -hmm. do this, but it's possible. So now it's, it's all side spin. So it feels a little bit like, like top spin. Mm -hmm. So if this would have backspin, you can really, how do you say it? You can put a lot of your own force because, well, right now it's, it's very hard because um, you can really avoid the axis of spin, but I can't do it right now. All right, let's see if we can, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Even though it's coming in fast, I can, I can make the ball, um, well, slow down is one thing, but of course you want it to drop, to bounce twice maybe, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If it comes there and it's over the table, you can always play top spin as well. Mm -hmm. Then I, I, would, yeah, I would advise to do a, a slow controlled top spin motion. You don't have to finish the point, just nice and brushed. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know if I have the space for it, but that's it, that's it. That's it. And then, of course, yeah, like like I said, you can go into the ball and then <clears throat> short, rise them. This is very different because they do a serve and they expect something to come back in a certain way. You have to four ways to turn it. Very hard for them to prepare for the next stroke, right? Yeah. All right. But the serve is not too realistic because, like I said, too much side spin. Let's yeah. see. Uh, da, 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 let's look at right spin, right to left. Okay. So, because I'm a left hander, I, I almost always go into it because people don't realize it, but they don't want that. So, if you're a right hander, it's very hard to go into it uh, this way, into the spin. Mm -hmm. uh, right handed players almost never do it. So they try. What they do is they try to, they try to just go over the ball, right? Yeah. But as a left-hander, we can really kind of do the same motion as their serve, and instead of you having to deal with their serve, they're having to deal with their own serve. And then if you push it back towards the middle, you know, if this mm -hmm. effect is gonna be quite hard for them, for sure. If it's like right on the backhand side, they're gonna try to open up, but the ball's gonna shoot off to the side. So as a left-hander, that's what I would advise to just go into it. But if you have the space, of course, you can also attack if it's long. But it's easy. This is all side spin, so it's easy to attack. But if it's short and it's back spin, like you can really just go and do the mirror image. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it it will really it will really just return their their own to them. If you want to do that, you have to look at it. Yeah, you have to look at it as a, as a push almost, right? Right now you're approaching it as topspin. Try to approach it as a, as a push. Yeah, but yeah. Keep your battle uh, parallel. I always say it, um, horizontal with the table, not horizontal, vertical. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Straight into the spin. That's it. Return everything that they're giving you, right? So that's one thing that I do. And then another thing is, in this case, you know, I go with it, but instead of making it drop dead, so they're they're prepared for you to play there, right? Because you've done mm -hmm. it a couple of times. And then you go you go with the spin, and you leave it down the line. Mm -hmm. right? So in the forehand, actually, I. I in the forum, but I like I like it when it's this kind of spin. I have a space for it. You don't have to put a lot of force, just yeah. So maybe a little bit earlier. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it's about getting a feeling for it. Good. That's it. And after a while, you see like you start worrying about their side spin. You're using it against them. So that's mm -hmm. it. Nice. Uh, this is nice. <laughs> No, because I can imagine that, that that could be very hard if you you don't know what to do. You're just putting the paddle there, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're like, okay, I see what you do and go straight against it, or I use it, you know, um, it's gonna be much much easier. All right. So, honestly, uh, I don't see a lot of edges right now. So, at least in this environment, you seem to be doing uh, very well. Mm -hmm. um, with at the moment, it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you said edges, flicks. What was the other thing? Um, movement, I think. Movement, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, movement. It, it all depends. Uh, um, can I ask how what your age is? Um, Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah. So yeah, it, it depends on on you as well. So I I've played against really good players that the only thing they could do was walk like this, mm. like veterans. They just they were they were very good players in the past uh, or or whatever they they can read the game really well so they know where the ball is going and you just put their pedals right they yeah. don't do big swings they just put their pedals um, and if it's too far for them that's it they just try to place it well so it's almost impossible for their opponents to place it where they can't reach it so that's mm -hmm. a way of playing that you can play if if your legs don't don't help you out but. There's everything in between that and then moving everywhere, right? So you have to kind of find your balance. Like, what is it? Is it that you that you want to do? Do you want to stay on the table and then be take the in initiative, so you don't have to worry too much about moving, but you're the one guiding them, right? So you stay over the table, do small strokes, uh, because if you're over the table, this is your range, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to move too much. Now, if you want to attack, you need to take a step back, but then the angles become yeah, wider, and then you need to start moving course so it's also about where you are so if you are really over the table just make sure that you're low and that you're not mm -hmm. make, having your battle hang out very wide right just keep it over the table and then when you do step back then it's when you really have to make sure that your feet are wide enough apart that you're low mm -hmm. enough so you can you can move and then it's about what I said like um, if the ball comes here you can lean if you're here Right, if you're yep. standing here, if the ball comes here, just play a back end, right? Mm -hmm. Even if you're doing the exercises and you notice like, oh, I'm not getting there. If you get used to just playing a back end, if you don't get there, then in the game when it happens, you you uh, you'll be able to do something instead of you know being yep. out of position. So you don't have to worry about playing back end as long as it's on the table, it's fine. And then, like I said, if you have the stamina for it, just put the exercise slow enough. Let's see. And uh, and try to keep moving. So, two thirds forehand, for example. Let's see. I'm gonna put it at 0 0.7. No, 0 0.6. Right. Put it a bit slower. You can also see the head of the machine, and you can kind of predict where it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that you keep moving right 
So when the ball leaves, you kind of do a little jump. Oh. But like anybody can choose the wrong direction, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Sometimes you stop moving because you're waiting for the ball, but but the thing that is hardest about this is conservation of energy, right? Sorry, so didn't understand. The thing that is hardest about this is your energy levels. So I, I played in a club yesterday with people that play national level. I play national yeah. level as well. Most of them, they don't move this way, right? Why? Because it's it's super tiring and they're like, they have a lot of touch, so they just stay yes. there, right? So it's about finding that balance because if you really want to move that way, you have to train uh, your legs a lot, right? Or just do this. Yeah. Um, if not, you have to start choosing when to really move well, right? So it's not just about, um, you know, going up and down. It's really connected to the ideas that you connected to your stroke, right? So. I sometimes forget it as well. So you go into the ball. And then actually, because you're moving into the ball and you're moving your whole body, that actually, uh, how do you say it? You do the stroke and you move your feet, like right? you do yeah. a little jump when you do, but it's a very, very tiny jump. It's not like, because then you lose track of the ball. So it's really just very small. How do you say it? Like maybe five centimeters, right? Okay. But because you do that, you're like in constant motion to return as well. Yep. So basically, you go doing this all the time. If you're just going up, it might not help you much. So it's really like into the ball and out, into the ball and out. And then you go into the ball and out. And while you're going out, you can already move a little bit more to the side if you see that the head is moving. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's really Man. <laughs> but like, it's, it's heavy. If you're playing like this, Everything starts landing, it's the best feeling in the world, of course. Nice. 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 If you're a little bit too slow, you can always go a little bit lower. Make sure that your feet, well, going lower basically is maybe putting your feet a slightly further apart. When you do it like this, you notice that you just you don't just have to get there, right? Because that's not enough. You have to be in front of the ball and in time to actually do the start to jump with the rest of your body. So that helps time the rest of your stroke as well. Because if you're just getting there and then doing stroke, your body's now not helping. So if you do this jumps, like you kind of, you know, everything is more synchronized. Everything, uh, like your whole body moves towards your ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna feel your quads a lot, right? Sorry. Your legs here. If you do it like, if you if you train like this a lot, you're gonna feel, yeah. How you say it? You're gonna train this part of your body a lot. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure also that you don't overdo it, because yeah. I've had this a couple of times. Actually, just once with table tennis. So I was doing a lot of exercises for my legs, just mm -hmm. like this. Right? Keep moving, keep moving, and. I went to train in real life. It was a cold day. I was doing the Falkenberg, right? And then the girl that I played against, she put it the second one deeper than I expected. And I was out of position. I went low. 
and I pulled muscles. Oh, right. okay. All right, so just to say, you can do all of this. You can do the Falkenberg, even though the Falkenberg in combination with, you know, when you start out, mm -hmm. you can maybe do that when you feel like your muscles are there. Uh, I wouldn't advise it because it's hard not to go for the ball, you know? Yeah, but that's my advice. Like if, if it's too far out or you're out of position, just let the ball pass, right? Just yeah. don't worry about it. Just go for the next one. Mm -hmm. okay. no. Cool. All right. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And maybe look at, okay, let's, let's, what is, this one is cool because it's like two thirds of the table, right? But to see how you keep moving and how you can keep going, the other one, you know, which is forehand, middle, and then back end with the forehand and then middle. I don't know, do you have the space to do that? To play forehands here? Yeah. I, have to I don't. <laughs> I can't show it to you. But if you do that, all all uh, five positions, um, that's not it's not bad in any way because it's those small movements that are the most tiring and that most people just forget about. So when it's like when it's like uh, wait, let's see this exercise. Most of the time when I start as well, I do this, I do this, I do this. I'm not moving, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything. I understand. <clears throat> what exercise is this? Is this one of the basic exercises? Hey, this is, no, this is one of the new ones. I think you have it if you downloaded the last one. So the idea is that this back end, I can't do it right now, is also a forehand. Yeah. And then the idea is even though it's small movements, you keep mm -hmm. doing the, the thing of going into the ball. And moving your feet, all right? And it's just smaller movements, but it, it teaches you to stay yeah. compact and to keep doing uh, your good footwork. Ah. Yeah, you have to remember to keep going. That's it. Good. Good. Because you know where the ball is going, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Put it just a little bit slower. It's not about being fast, it's just about jumping into the ball a bit. Don't worry about it. So, you're doing it really well already, but you can see already, like, it's different than the last one, the last exercise, maybe. It's harder, you know, because you don't know where it's going. Yeah. But, like it feels manageable because you know it's coming there or there. Yeah. This is much harder because in a different way, like physically, because you keep, keep moving. You know where the yep. ball is coming, but you have to keep going and you have to keep your balance to be able to return, you know? <laughs> so this is a very good exercise to do like into the ball and out of it, right? And then you're really ready for the next one. Into the ball yep. and out of it and here. And then you do the other direction, right? You play into the ball out of it and you're in the middle right yeah. so that's basically the thing like you do all these small small steps but you keep moving your body and then correcting your neutral position every time you do the stroke mm -hmm. a really nice exercise yeah all right so um this exercise i'm just thinking about it because actually it's lesson five it's it's about to come out i think next weekend but i can send you the link yeah, uh, please. Yeah. And I can send you uh, a key is uh, right. different because I, I don't think I asked the developer to upload to 4008, um, but I, I don't think he's done it yet. So um, yeah, I'll send you a key that has these and then uh, you can train that the, they're at the end after Mimaito lesson mm -hmm. five and the video is yeah. already ready as well. So you can. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. And that's all about footwork. So it's <laughs> almost every time I see you, you, you ask me the stuff that I'm making a video about. So <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> this is great. <laughs> so yeah, footwork is, is what makes table tennis, like depending on how you play, of course, it's what makes it like a, a heavy sport. If you, if you choose to do it well, uh, it's very intensive, right? Mm -hmm. so, 
But that's also why, why when you start with footwork, you have to think about injuries and stuff and how to pace your body. You have to really think about maybe warming up a bit, you know, and warming up your legs as well, stretching, mm-hmm. you know, so uh, you don't get injured. Yeah. All right. Cool. Do you have any more questions? Not at the moment. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, no Thanks you know, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, like, if your elo is going up, but I see, you know, how I see you play right now, it looks, it looks good. Like you have, yeah. you have much more touch than I, than I saw in the beginning. Like you have a good feeling for the ball. Mm-hmm. You adapt very, very fast to, to exercises. So it's, it's very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the moment, it goes up to about 2,400. Then I go back to 2,300. Then again, 2,000. That's good. It's so, normal. normal. It's normal because... Um, I mean, me as well, like I, I stay more or less up there, right? But it's, maybe it's because there's a cap on the level, right? But yeah. sometimes you're playing against more against uh, stronger players than you and then you go down a bit and then afterwards you're playing, you know, more, more your level and you win a bit. And also it's about you're testing out new stuff, right? Some days it's working, another day it's not. You're trying mm-hmm. to figure it out. The fact that you stay in between those is, is a very good sign. It means that you're... Mentally, you're not too worried about up and down, up and down. You're like really trying stuff and you're not too scared because otherwise you wouldn't go, how do you say it? You wouldn't restore your elo. You would just keep going down <laughs> or just stay low. Yeah, so uh, no problem. you seem to be doing very well. And 2,400 is, is not bad at all. That's very good. It's okay for, for an amateur. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. I know a lot of uh, real life players that, are, that have been stuck around 2,400 for a long time. Maybe not 2,500, 2,600, but even for them, it's not not that easy to really go up, up, up. If you want to see like another amateur, amateur player um, that played basically the game most of it, he played uh, in his office before as well, uh, but never in a club. Is uh, Mr. Bigfoot? Yeah, uh, he plays yeah. quite right now. And he against him yesterday. <laughs> yeah. He's about 2,600 at the moment. <laughs> But I liked it. I I almost um, uh, won against him, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. it was thirteen to il- thirteen eleven in the in the in the. Yeah, yeah. So now I cannot hear you. Cannot hear me. Oh no, we are. So um, I trained uh, Mr. Bigfoot uh, for a while. And uh, he won against Pro2 TVR, he won against Adric, he won against uh, quite some of the top players. And he has a very specific VR game, so he decided to go for VR. I don't, I, it's possible that he plays with an adapter now, but for the longest time he just played with the controllers. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a very good, you know, backspin ball. It's yes. not easy to lift, not even for me. Um, so yeah, he, he kind of worked on his tactics and everything. He has a very kind of unique game. Yeah. Uh, it's very, it's very cool to see. So. Mm-hmm. That's some, that's a level that you could you could get to, for example, as well. Normally, like, I mean, it's a possibility okay. because he's done it, so you should be able to do it as well. Um, you have a different type of game. Your your game is much more open. Like he decided mm-hmm. to to stop a lot of the like, good backspin, which is something that I, I mean, that's why I'm always saying as well, like to focus a little bit on pushing as well because it can help you. It can help you out a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, you seem to be like looking for attacking and flicking and all that stuff and you have good touch for it. So mm-hmm. yeah, interesting to see where you end up. Okay. So thanks a lot. And the next coaching will be at the earliest in one month <laughs> because yeah, I'm now, now on some business trips and there I cannot play before uh, $1,700. I mean, if you just think about the physical part, um, you can do this for two, three months and yeah. just keep better and keep getting better and better and better and better without really needing my help. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really up to you. Yeah. I also think so. And now, now I have some advices what I can make better and, and now I can train with the ball machine also. That's it. That's it. Okay. Good. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. And see you in, uh, in a month or however yeah. long you want it to be. I will write to you in, in Discord. I just want to see now. Nah. So we have collisions with the table, but yeah. not with each other. Yeah. It'll be better. Yeah. Like with your head. <laughs> All okay. right. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. No worries. Bye-bye.